Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can backup and restore your OS on a Xiaomi Redmi 1S. So this is the Redmi 1S. So to enter into recovery mode, you need to press volume up and the power button at the same time until you see the logo. So there we have it. So I have installed a custom recovery on this device. If you want to know how to do it, you can look at my video. I will leave a link to that video in the description area below this video. So this is the TWRP custom recovery. So guys to backup the OS, you need to press this button that says backup. And now you need to select the things that you want to backup. By default, these are the only things that you need to backup. And if you so want, you can even select this cache, but I don't want the cache. I want it to be created when we restore the OS. Just check the things that you want to backup and to backup, simply swipe this and the backup process will start. This is going to take some time. So I'll pause the video and continue it when it's done. So guys, now the backup is finished. Now, if you have not touched your device or if your device locks when you are doing a backup, you don't need to panic. Simply double tap on the screen and you will see this option that says swipe to unlock. And once you do that, you can see that the backup is now finished. So it says backup completed in 140 seconds. Now it is asking us to reboot our device. Now it is not mandatory. We can do it or not. It is our wish. We can choose to reboot the device right from here by clicking this button. So to restore the backup, all we need to do is open up the recovery just as I've showed you earlier and then press this button that says restore. So just click it. So there are currently two backups on this device. One is the old backup and one is the backup that we just created. Now to restore the OS, simply select the backup that you want to restore it to. Now I'm going to prefer the latest one. Now to restore, simply swipe this button and once you do that, the restoration process will begin. So guys, now the restoration process is completed. Once it is done, you'll get this message saying restore completed in again 140 seconds. So just in case guys, for some reason, if you get a message saying that the restoration process has failed, you don't need to panic, but you also need to remember that your device might not boot because the restoration process was interrupted in between. So it happened to me once. So in that case, you can do two things. One is flashing the stock ROM another one is doing a factory data reset so in any case it means that you lose all your data so there is also a third possibility where you might get an error saying that the md5 checksum is not valid or is incorrect so in that case the restoration process didn't happen at all and your previous os is still fine and you can use that so that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you have any more doubts then please let me know by commenting below this video and if you found this video to be helpful Please hit the like button and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.